I just add that this was my idea. Yeah, I said not to. <laughs> We're supposed to be going to Florida soon. Here we are. Fact of the day. <laughs> the tree's a bit wedged. Hi there, welcome back. It's 28th of December and we're in that lull between Christmas and New Year. I'm actually having work time and I thought I would pick up the camera. I haven't filmed at all over Christmas and it's been so, so nice. Just having that downtime, that family time, eating, drinking, playing cards, playing games, watching movies. It's been so lovely. I have actually worked yesterday and today, but just kind of doing nice things, a bit of video editing. I've just been working on kits from the sofa. I was watching a movie. We signed up to Shudder Movies yesterday. Um, it's, I think it's on Amazon Prime and it's like the horror movie channel. Three months for 99p a month. We love our scary movies, so that's really cool. So it's just been really, really nice. What have you been up to? Have you been doing anything fun? I wasn't going to film, but I am just about to film a studio tidy video because my studio is an absolute mess. So this video is due to go up before then. And then I thought, you know, I'll pick up the camera and just film a bit of a vlog anyway. So Aid's walking the dog. He's also working on his lego kit <laughs> and he's been packaging my january stamps for the kits as well but i'm gonna film this i'll show you what a mess i'm in i've just started tidying it so a few things have been moved out and then you can see the nice tidy bit hopefully in a few minutes it's always the dumping room this room over christmas everything gets left in here do you also find yourself in a real mess between christmas and new year so this is the mess like i said i have actually just tidied some bits out this all was all messy here so um but yes it's definitely time for a good tidy so after my big clean up my studio space looks so much better now and aid and i are going to get ready for, to go on a walk well that ended up taking a lot longer than i expected i had quite a lot of interruptions by family so it's half past three i don't think we'll be doing a common walk now because it's going to be getting dark in an hour We've decided to walk up to the common after all. We're out of puff now, aren't we? <laughs> we have a while, have we? I hate crossing this road. It's far from it. I can hear something. Yeah. Stop here. Yeah, oh. I was hoping it wouldn't be too muddy because we've had so much rain. But we've both got our muddy, ugly shoes on. Let's see. But we're going to head over to the runway which will be concretey. I just add that this was my idea. Yeah I said not to. <laughs> you did. We can dodge the puddles over here anyway. It's starting to get dark now. We've never been on the common in the dark have we? I never thought that I would be So have you all had a lovely Christmas? Let us know what you've been up to. Have you had some lovely family time? We've definitely had a quiet one, haven't we? Yeah, but it's also felt, I think, quite nice, hasn't it, as well? Mm -hmm. We've actually had some time that we've... Christmas Day didn't seem like we were stuck in the kitchen the whole day. No, nope, good uh, planning. <laughs> yeah. Louis didn't let us forget that we didn't do a turkey. There was constant reminders. We decided just to do a roast in the bag chicken. And a joint of beef. Yeah, that was nice and easy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we've definitely gone easy this year. We've played lots of games, card games, movies. Just downtime, really. Went to see my brother. Yeah. Saw my sister in the car park. So we didn't <laughs> want to mix with her because she'd mixed with loads of people, her in-laws, the day before on Christmas Day. So it has been a really nice one, actually. Yeah, it's... Um... Would you say you've had a bit of downtime? Yeah, I would actually. But a nice bit of downtime. Yeah, I feel relaxed. Yeah. yeah. Which is good. But talking of relaxed, we're supposed to be going to Florida soon. Yeah, we are. Uh, we've still got the kids home from uni. Uh, we're starting to feel a bit anxious, aren't we? Yeah, it's, it's I mean, mainly it's, it's kind of the part of testing before we have to go. So, I mean, it isn't even January yet. And we're, oh, it's not going to be too long into the new year when we will be going. 
so we're just wanting to avoid getting anything it's it's um, easy when it's just the two of us at home because we don't particularly enjoy being around other people so much we I mean, enjoy no, we our space inside. but it's we can't just say to the kids you can't go out so like one of them's going out tonight to the pub and it's just making us feel anxious we've cancelled all our plans cancelled our plans for not seeing our friends for new year don't need to hold that that's all right no it's good okay. like that um so yeah we'll just wait and see what happens just we've just been careful fingers crossed yeah but we planned this trip with friends last spring and we just never expected it to be like this did we no nope. but our friends are in the same situation as us so fingers crossed we'll be able to go but we haven't even done anything about packing we made a few lists last night haven't bought our tests because in the back of our mind we weren't sure good chance we probably won't be going so <laughs> Let us know if you've got trips coming up and if you feel the same. It's a bit cleaner along here. We're going to stick to the clean walkway now. And we're both really hungry and when we get home, we are going to make prawn cocktail. That's what we fancy, yep. don't we? I've got a, big a bag of prawns, huge bag of prawns defrosting. We've got loads of bread that needs using up, loads of salad. I really as well, I'm a stone heavier than when I usually go to Florida. I feel fine in myself. You look fine. Thank you. I feel yeah. fine, but I can't fit into my Florida clothes. That's the only thing. So like all my little dresses I usually wear, everything is really tight. Well, some like you think some of the little trousers I wear, three quarter lengths, I can't get them over the tops of my thighs at the moment. So that's the only problem. So I need to have a look at what I can actually wear if we do go. Cardigans will be fine. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, dresses. yeah, buffet dresses definitely won't be in shorts this time. Definitely won't be able to get those on. But, um, yeah, so it's thinking about that kind of thing as well. Have you decided what you want to take clothes wise? Oh, yeah. If we go. Well, for me, it's probably going to be similar to what I would normally do in sort of shorts, shorts and, and shorts and t-shirts. Now, Lisa said about obviously. You've actually you've done the opposite of me. This is one of the reasons we're out walking, by the way, so I can try and shift some pounds. You've lost a lot of weight. Recently. Yeah, but I'm still heavier. Oh, than you usually than go I to Florida. That's I mean, true. Oh, go back to 2017. I'm still a stone heavier than I was then. Mm. But I've lost a stone in the last six months. Yeah, your lockdown weight, would you say? <laughs> yeah, I've lost my <laughs> lockdown weight. So I'm kind of now what I would normally, well, before losing weight for a trip would be. Yeah. So just shorts, t-shirts. I'm going to um, stop here because we're about to go through a dark oh yeah, bit. Yeah, well, we sort this out because we've got a lot of mud here. Well, but, but yeah, no. So yeah, shorts, t-shirts. Um, it's quite nice going to Florida because you know that it might be, it's not going to be like 30s, 40s. Mm. It's still oh, in January. Be, for me, it's still going to be t-shirts and shorts weather and yeah. maybe take a hoodie, that type of thing. I am going to take a pair of jeans just in case because we've been in Florida when the weather changes suddenly. Yeah, I would say I'm not going to go crazy with buying stuff either. I do love a t-shirt, but then I don't want to be this weight forever. And with the spring coming up, I really want to shift some more pounds. We both do, don't we? So let's hope maybe the trip later in the year we can be, uh, shall we say, at our Florida, Florida weight. Florida weight, <laughs> yeah, fit for Florida. And this was the dark bit that I was saying. Sometimes the camera picks things up lighter than they are. Yeah. Like now it seems darker. But then sometimes, like earlier on, I was showing the sky and it actually seemed so much darker than it really was. It kind of varies. But Watch your step there. Yeah, thank you. We're trying to keep to a cleaner walk today. Are you watching Lee and Nick, by the way? They're out there in Florida at the moment. Um, I think their videos have just started going up, yep. haven't they? I think their announcement was yesterday on the normal. Yeah, this, this video is not going up for a few days oh, yet. Okay. So yeah, go and check them out. Uh, we were messaging with them earlier. It's lovely and sunny. They were having breakfast, 28 degrees. Can we go tomorrow? They said to go early, but we can't. <laughs> working kids and all that kind of thing. Yep, I've only got so much holiday oh, in a year. Oh, I hope we can join them. I yeah. really, really do. <laughs> We're on the disused runway now. Are we going to do a loop and then head home? I think so, yeah. I don't yeah. think we'll go to the end of the runway because that would be much flying. No, I wasn't We're thinking about watching the planes today. Oh, I can just see one's just landed, I think. Well, we've got a bit of congestion coming up. We used to bring the kids up here on their scooters, yeah. didn't we? And their bikes when they were little. It's a great place for them to scoot around. Great for dogs as well, isn't it, it is good when Poppy yeah. used to like running around. We've just walked past some families with like little, little kids. And I said to A, do you think it was easier then or now with older ones? What do you think, Aid? He said they'd be bed in bed in an hour. <laughs> nice walk, could have worn them out. Yeah, that's true. Bath, bath. Bath, tea, bedtime story. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. What do I you would... think, everyone? 
easier when they're little <laughs> and when they're older. If you've got older ones, what do you think? I thought you were going to say something. Oh, so no, I was just going to say, it's, uh, you think of it and I'm so, I mean, I enjoyed those times. But I, I think, loved those I times. I think at the time though, and it's I think for people who've got young yeah. families now, they will probably think, how can that be the hardest time? Or, or you, know, you know what I mean? It's just or, different, If they're old, it? it'll be more difficult. But when they're older, you end up missing those times so, yeah, so really much. Just... Isn't it lovely up here? Well, it's just so peaceful. There. I love being up here. I just always feel like I've escaped from home. Even though we are just a few minutes walk from home, I just always feel like I've escaped. We've just had a child go past on her bike. There's absolutely no one around. She must have been about six. I just find that so, so strange that somebody would just let their little, little girl around on a bike around here. I wouldn't even want, saying that, I, I wouldn't even come up here on my own. I wouldn't want Holly, no. even as a teenager, or even Louis, to be honest, coming up on his own. I've lived here my whole life, and I've been up here, I think, once when it's gone to dusk time. I think I you're safe, babe. I don't think anyone would go for you. No, no, <laughs> but I've still not wanted to be No, here. I wouldn't. You look around here. I know. But it's all like forest dark, woodland. I just find that really strange. Yeah fact of the day. <laughs> Lisa just remembered something. Well, a friend of ours works at a local airport and he was telling us the other day that when they were deciding the site for Heathrow Airport, it was either going to be the it's airport here. Expanding here, because this yeah, was already an airport, wasn't it? Yeah, and there wouldn't have been all the houses around here then, no. would there? Or Heathrow. Mm. Why did they choose Heathrow in the end? What does he say? I oh, can't remember. We'll have to find hmm. out. That's interesting, that one. Really we'll interesting out, yeah. fact for you. And also, a very interesting one as well. This airport was here beforehand and it was used a lot in the Second World War. So, yeah, another little fact. So we have for the you. airport there, but this is the disused runway next to it, which is yeah. where we're walking. We're not walking on the runway. And we the just decided because we've just walked past another cross, which would have been another um, runway before. Oh, I'm so glad we went out and got some fresh air. That was so, so nice. So I'm going to make a prawn cocktail, I've got this massive big bag of king prawns and I'm just going to mix together a few easy ingredients and make a really really good cocktail sauce. Our cocktail sauce by the way is completely different in the UK to in the States. So the simple ingredients, we have got mayo, I'm also doing a vegan version for Holly and then we're going to squirt in the ketchup and it's squeezing in a lemon let me know if you make this as well or oh, we'll get rid of that pip in a minute same to hollies mix it together i did remove the pips and do it to taste to give it a good flavor give it a good taste i mean so you're happy with the flavor i'm gonna do the same with hollies and then the final ingredient a little bit of cayenne pepper and mix that up together and if you want to add more mayo or more ketchup or lemon juice just dip your finger in and give it a taste it's so so easy to make and really really good good morning it's time Hi. to take down the tree and decorations when do you usually take down yours um we've had our tree up much earlier this year than we usually would um november and it's a real treat. It hasn't actually dropped, or it has a little bit, but not too badly. We're really quite surprised. But we are ready to see the back of it now. We're ready to tidy up. Starting to look bare. Putting it all away. Just watching B movie. And I'm also going to put all the Christmassy things away in the kitchen. <laughs> the tree's a bit wedged. Are you pulling your end? I'm going to pull, yeah. Okay, I think yeah. I might need some shoes on or slippers oh, no, or something. Good. No, I'm more thinking me with oh, walking I've through. Got these old socks on. I've got little fluffy socks on at the moment. Oh, you've got a candle in here as well. Almost back together again, cleaning everything, tidying everything up. I'm also using this time to actually go through the decorations for things that, oh, that's rubbish, that we don't use anymore and have a sort out to drop off at charity. That's it, I think another Christmas over. I hope you've had a lovely Christmas period and we wish you a very happy new year. We're gonna finish tidying up and get back to normal and then it's straight back to work for me. But thank you very much for watching. Have an amazing 2022 and thank you so much for supporting our channel.
Not so loud, bye.